as long as the international community fails to hold the Iranian regime accountable for its destructive behavior or is under the illusion that they can contain the regime by giving concessions, the mullahs will carry on with their dangerous adventures. What do you think the EU should be doing, or even the European Parliament should be doing to support human rights in Iran? Well, it's, it's a broad question, and uh, sure, there is a number of answers that can, one can have to it, and some of the answers uh, have been already uh, uh, tabled today uh, in the meeting in the European Parliament. But I would start with something that I consider absolutely principle, that we stop ourselves selling out on our values and principles. Uh, we stop doing compromises which uh, are completely uh, non-legitimate, and with that, that our foreign and security policy and its human rights dimension uh, become stronger so that uh, the people that are suppressed, whether it is in, our, in Iran or in other places, people that uh, the human rights of which are being abused on a daily basis, people that are imprisoned and uh, executed will receive a much firmer uh, and stronger and, and consistent support uh, from us parliamentarians. I'm not happy about uh, the implementation uh, uh, of the human rights policy in some parts of the world by uh, the European Union, by its members, and also by its representatives. So that's one. And that, of course, means that we will have to put up uh, uh, or put on the agenda Iran in, in a uh, different way than so, f so far. And I need uh, to appeal to my colleagues that uh, for different reasons, reasons of uh, different partial interests uh, from time to time are in fact making it difficult, if not impossible, to devote uh, greater attention to Iran and to come up with a solid, uh, I would say, message that clearly the Iranian uh, fundamentalists uh, in power need. Hold the Iranian regime accountable for its crimes against the people of Iran, and particularly for the massacre in 1988. What would you like to see happen concerning the massacre that occurred in 1988? Yeah, there was really a political massacre in 1988. Uh, more than 30,000 people were massacred, and I think we need to have a really international investigation uh, Iranian investigation would be not enough because currently in the inner Iranian government there are people who are responsible for that. So really I would call for international investigation including UN, which uh, has seems to me they started to be interested in, but also EU should be more and more involved and uh, therefore I appeal the, to the European Commission to be much more involved. Would you say that there's a consensus within the European Parliament on this issue? I feel that more and more MEPs are understanding that the uh, human rights situation in Iran is the issue and we have to be more active, we have to do something. Uh, I'm encouraged that there are more and more MEPs uh, being involved in uh, this group, uh, with, uh, also with Iranian opposition fighting for freedom and democracy. That's what we have to do. Uh, I cannot say if it is majority of MEPs, but definitely I'm encouraged that it is more and more MV, uh, MEPs across political groups. The EU must decide on which side to stand. I should insist the Iranian regime is not only the enemy of the people of Iran, but it's also our enemy. Let me t tell you that uh, Mrs. Mogherini has done a, an incredible good job in the external relations. She's, um, um, she's shown that uh, Europe is um, active and Europe uh, uh, has a, a, an interest all around the world to pursue and to uh, spread our core values. And that's a fact. So I have to take uh, my hat at Mrs. Mogherini. But in regarding Iran, uh, we cannot keep on this, the, uh, this uh, business uh, as usual uh, situation. We have to stop. We have to demand Iranian authorities to stop flogging, to stop uh, um, incriminating, to stop uh, uh, killing their, uh, uh, their citizens. This has to stop. We have relations with Iran. We have economic relations with Iran. We have many other issues that are on the table in negotiations with Iran. We have to put an all to this before we cannot we cannot negotiate with a third country if they do not respect our core values and Iran is not respecting so we have to hold 
all the agreements that we have at this moment, we have to rethink. I do not, I do not say that we have to, to uh, abolish everything and to go to, uh, to, uh, to a level zero, no. But we have to stop and to think what's more important for us Europeans, if it is human rights or if it is economic uh, uh, issues. I think that we can mix both, but never uh, economic uh, issues on top of uh, above the human rights issues. Since Hassan Rouhani came to power as the so-called moderate president. And since we have witnessed a constant deterioration of human rights and a shocking rise in the number of executions ever since. Do you know, according to Amnesty International, Iran alone accounted for 55% over half of all recorded executions in the world in 2016. Rouhani's regime has executed more than 80 women and many more women are in prison because they dared to express their opinions. According to the United Nations, the executions under Rouhani in Iran last year were the highest in 25 years. This means even by the regime's own admission, this is the worst wave of executions since the mass executions of 30,000 political prisoners in Iran in 1988. The situation in Iran today, is it worrying you? It worries me and it is unacceptable. We are more than 200 parliamentaries at the European level to protest against the regime of Demola. C'est le régime le pire que l'on connaisse maintenant au niveau mondial en ce qui concerne les exécutions, y compris les exécutions de mineurs. C'est un régime qui ne respecte pas les droits de liberté, d'association, de liberté de pensée. C'est un régime qui n'établit pas une véritable égalité de droits entre les hommes et les femmes. C'est un régime qui ne respecte pas les minorités. C'est un régime qui essaie de déstabiliser d'autres pays dans la région et qui intervient illégalement et en dehors de toute l'égalité internationale, aussi bien en Syrie, en Irak et encore dans d'autres parties. Donc nous soutenons la résistance iranienne qui veut renverser ce régime que nous considérons comme étant un régime inacceptable. Et qu'est-ce qu'on peut faire au niveau européen Je pense qu'au niveau européen, les responsables, au lieu de se précipiter comme ils le font maintenant euh, auprès des mollas en délégation ou en envoyant des hommes d'affaires, doivent leur dire « Écoutez, nous sommes prêts à faire un certain nombre de gestes de rapprochement avec vous, mais vous, d'abord, vous faites des pas significatifs dans la direction du respect des droits des citoyens. » 